I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone. Turn around and drop it for a pan. Drop it for me. I went to beach house in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. Lost the tip. Everybody doing it, and then they have a wig on the next day. I'm like, okay, now you gotta glue your wig down to your goddamn head instead of sewing it down. But you know, it is what it is. It's a trend everybody's doing. But uh, she says for a movie, and I say, you know what, motherfuckers get bored to get on there and just shave their head. Uh, I'm cool. Uh, I'm Gucci, okay? I'm Gucci. Um, Zeke Elliott, anybody who's into football, y'all know Miss Tiki love her Cowboys. Are you ready for some football? Zeke Elliott, 
they're gonna uphold they're gonna uphold his six game suspension he will play Sunday against the Giants and uh, that's basically all I can say is y'all leading these young guys and these girls leave them alone and I was reading something on there saying that the young man that they fired uh, Ninja Whitehead him and Zeke and all them some dealing with the same girl so y'all gonna get it together okay get it together or lose all your careers ask uh, Chad and a lot of more people that has lost everything due to you know domestic violence and I do not agree with domestic violence you know it is what it is yeah I read something this morning where it say Yandy Smith allegedly may be pregnant I don't know if that's true but uh, I guess married half married having filed the paperwork is enough for her to get conjugal visits <laughs> with her hubby that's locked up and uh, we're gonna keep our eyes out to see is Yandy Smith pregnant pregnant yes but I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about Kiki I feel so bad for her, you know yeah she's emotional right now you know yes and there's someone I was listening to the uh, Jacob show last night Jacob go high or <laughs> and um, someone called in and said that that young man begged to be with her and I said them normally the ones that show out them motherfuckers that beg you to be with them or swear for God they're gonna be there for you them normally the ones that come in and dog you out you know it is what it is we're gonna pray for Kiki um I don't know if this is true a little T.I. read Nia Riley is supposed to be dating Lil Fizz and I just laugh I said Moniece Mona as for us rock say Mona bitch Mona Scott Y'all, this is for real. Love and hip-hop um, Hollywood. This is TV at its best. Look at this motherfucker driving by looking in the car. Yeah, the phone on the, <laughs> in my lap. I'm not on my phone today. I'm so sick of Highway Patrol. But anyway, they say Neil Riley allegedly may be dating Fizz. And I'm like, okay, she need a storyline. Cause she's sitting around. I don't know how long Mona gonna pay you sitting around for doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. Hurricane Irma is hitting the islands. St. Martin and uh, Baruba and it's coming through Puerto Rico. You guys, we're praying for everybody in the islands and it's getting ready to hit Miami. So all my tiki's all over the world. We need to sit. We still pray for Houston. So not pray for um over here in Miami and the islands, Puerto Rico, any of my tiki's y'all hit me in the comments and let me know what are you guys doing to prepare for the storm and will you evacuate or are you gonna stay? I have a girlfriend in Florida. I'm gonna have to call her up. Maybe if she not uh, working right now, I can call her up and ask her, you know, what's going on because last year that storm hit I was like oh my goodness how do y'all do it you know how do y'all do it and um candy over there in ATL candy beers Burris, the old lady gang the uh, restaurant they had them they had an article talking about that she got a lot of demerits over there didn't have a lot of sinks for the employees to wash their hands a lot of little dumb things that they got hit for but the health department with the health inspector they don't play when it comes to uh, them health violations because I work at a place where the health department come in all the time they do not play you have to have them places up to you know a, a grade a B no I think it's a C before they close the door or they will shut your ass down so they you know, and then they post it here in Vegas. We call it Dirty Dining. And you guys can type it up, Dirty Dining, if you're coming here. Check out the places where um, they got a bad grade. And when they get a bad grade, you do not want to eat there. It might be small violations, but I'm sorry. I don't want to eat nowhere where people not washing their hands, not cleaning stuff and doing things properly. You know, it is what it is. So you guys, I'm just hoping my Tay-Tay is okay. 
But I think now times up to Tamar and Vince is hitting for a divorce. It's been happening for a while. And I love Tamar Braxton. And a lot of people was mad because they said she's came for her sisters. She's always on social media talking shit. That's just her character. She got a smart mouth. We know she got fired from the real due to her behavior. You know, so. And then a lot of people were saying, Tamar, no, he don't like black women. I'm like, I don't think that's it. Sometimes the marriages just run their course. In life, relationships and everything, you got the beginning, the middle, and the end. And on that note, guys, y'all have a lucky day. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Thumbs up. Follow me over there on IG, Tiki44, Twitter, Tiki44. And uh, y'all yeah, have a lucky day. And thanks, guys. Thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for uh, chit-chatting with me. Tanya Story, you always talk to me. Jean, you know, and I didn't know that was you over there on IG. You guys follow her. She have a lot of interesting things on her page. Jean and Tanya Stewart on uh, Twitter. And you guys, y'all have a lucky day. Tiki Wrights also hit me. Yeah, I think that's the way. Tiki, yeah, Wrights. Over there on IG. Bye, guys.